Hi everyone, my name is Hassan. I live in Seoul. I work as a software engineer. Today I would like to tell you about life in Seoul as a software engineer. 안녕하세요. 저는 하선입니다. 한국에서 소프트웨어 엔지니어로 일하고 있어요. 네, 이 동영상은 영어로 만들 거예요. 나중에 한글 자막 추가할 거예요. 참고하세요. South Korea is one of the most workaholic country in the world. In fact, it tops the OECD list. Uh, people are so workaholic here that it's a general saying that if you work harder, you will get succeeded. It's also because of the tough competition here from selling food on the street to department store and also getting jobs and even to get seat in a restaurant or subway. I came to Korea in 2011. Uh, at that time, I studied masters in computer engineering. After my graduation, I started working here because Korea moves very fast. The technology rapidly changes here. You can see that the smartphone penetration is over 120% in Korea. Also recently, there is big data, AI, self-driving cars, robots everywhere in Korea. Even the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Korea is the third largest market in the world. Let me share with you some pros and cons of working in Korea. Uh, let's start with pros. First of all, uh, South Korea is a very fast moving country. Technology rapidly changes. So you get to work on the latest technology, for example, AI, big data, robotics and ever growing smartphone application development. This is also very good for your career growth and you will have always something to do. You will never get bored. And second one, your English skills can help globalizing the company. It can also bring in some multiculturalism and diversity in the company, which is very important nowadays. If your company is earning some profit, you will get bonus every year, which is very good. Fourth one, if you work in a medium scale IT company and you join the company when you are under 30 years of age, you are exempted from tax, income tax for three years. The last one, uh, you would get a lot of opportunities to attend global events here. Companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, they hold a lot of uh, events here. They give, they deliver talks in English and Korean. As a bonus, after studying for two years here and working in a company for three years consecutively, you will be eligible to apply for permanent residency, which is uh, like a more than 10 years of visa to stay here. Let's talk about some of the disadvantages of working in Korea. As I mentioned before, people here are work colleagues, so you might have to work extra long hours in office. And that's a term called yakin. And you might get stressed because of that. Here things move very fast, so you have to produce results very quickly. Sometimes it can cause bugs or errors in the app because it requires more time to make a stable version of a product and an app. Pay is little less than the, uh, than the countries like Singapore, Japan or Hong Kong. Korean language is another big uh, issue here. If you don't speak Korean, it will be hard for you to communicate with everyone on the team or in the company. Uh, it might be okay f in the case of global company, but mostly I have seen that developers hesitate to speak English. Also, uh, many workshops and trainings are conducted in Korean, so you might have a hard time uh, dealing with them. There are hardly any English-speaking tech communities here, and you will not find many expat developers or software engineers here with whom you can interact. So mostly you will end up meeting other Korean developers. Uh, in this case, I recommend to learn some Korean so that you can talk with them and make friends. That's it for today. Uh, in my next video, I will share about how to get a job in Korea, especially in IT company. And I will give you some tips. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends. If you have any question, uh, I will leave my Twitter handle there. You can tweet to me or you can leave a comment on YouTube. I will be happy to reply to you. Bye. Thanks. See you next time. <laughs>